Darren, a 3-1 win here and into the next round. Just what are your immediate thoughts following that one? Yeah, really, really pleased to obviously win. That's the objective. Um, in all fairness, shouldn't have taken two games to get to where we are. But that's, I don't want to be disrespectful. I, I, I respect the competition and obviously everyone raises their games when they're against teams above themselves and, and what have you. So, you know, no disrespect to Potter's Bar and no disrespect to the tournament. Um, but, you know, we've had, to, we've had to play the replay tonight and, and obviously come from behind as well, which is disappointed. Uh, where, they've, where they've had the, the, the one break and, and scored on it. That seems to be the theme at the minute with us. You know, teams get one or two opportunities and seem to, to take them at the minute. But, you know, we'll come through this patch. But pleasing, you know, got some people, some minutes tonight that were important. Got Andre, 90. Got Elliot, another 20. And got Dunny back uh, sweating properly. <laughs> um, so good for them, boys. Um, and obviously just pleased to be through to the next round. That was sort of the main thing I was going to mention. We can only take positives out of this, looking at our squad, obviously getting the likes of James Dunn back. I mean, Bukar's played 90 minutes, Medi Leo's played 90 minutes. I mean, how much confidence can that bring your side, having those kind of players back in the team? Well, the one thing that I hope it brings is is um, good, healthy competition. Mm. You know, I've gone on about having a decent squad here and I haven't had them all to pick from. There's going to be some disappointed people at the weekend when we go to Hartlepool because I can't take them all up there. Obviously, we go back to having five subs. But what's pleasing is goal scorers tonight, you know, with, with Efron and Walks and JT scoring the penalty. Um, people getting minutes, coming back from injury. The obvious only disappointment from this round is is losing Alfie to the injury that um, he sustained on Saturday. So that's the only disappointment, but plenty of positives to take. Obviously, on to the next round now with another home tie. I mean, this club never really seems to get it easy. It's a difficult tie against Little Town, but obviously it's one that we can really look forward to. And it's a team that's flying high and they'll be decent. And, you know, all of a sudden we go from favourite to underdog. Um, that's all part and parcel of the competition but you know we can take confidence from the way we've moved the ball around tonight we've created opportunities we've looked lively got a little bit casual in the last 15 minutes when the game was comfortable didn't didn't look like we wanted to go on and, and score a fourth looked a bit more like we was happy to just see the game out so just spoke about being more ruthless going forward even whatever the score line because uh, the game's about habits and then all of a sudden we find ourselves uh, uh, the underdog in the next round. And But what we can do is hopefully apply ourselves correctly and, and, and play the football that I want us to play. And who knows, give ourselves a chance to go through again.